I'm here in our 2023 inductee exhibit, where we have artifacts from the entire class. Let's check out a few that show how these artists took on a wide variety of social justice issues. One of many reasons that they made an impact on culture that merits induction into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Let's start with Rage Against the Machine. You see vocalist Zach De La Rocha's microphone that he used on stage right here in Cleveland on June 22nd, 2022. I was in the crowd that night and remember him throwing the mic down at full force into the stage floor at the end of the show. You can clearly tell it took a beating. Even though he could not stand that night due to an injury, he remains one of the most electric front people I've ever had the pleasure to see live. In the band's song Vietnam from their 1996 sophomore record Evil Empire, De La Rocha wrote, one caution, the mic's a detonator unwound to shut down that devil's sound. In this lyric, he tells audiences exactly how he views this tool of his trade as a powerful weapon against injustice and hypocrisy. Next up, here are the typed and handwritten lyrics from the Elton John song, I'm Still Standing. 2023 inductee Bernie Taupin, best known as John's lyricist, wrote these lyrics as a survivor of a romantic breakup. But Taupin adores the fact that fans and critics have since found more in its meaning. It's become a statement of Elton John's resilience. We see part of that resilience in his consistent support of the LGBTQ community. John came out as bisexual to Rolling Stone magazine all the way back in 1976, paving the way for other artists to be out and proud. Here we have the creator, writer, producer, and beloved host of Soul Train, Don Cornelius. We have an example of his trend-setting fashion with this outfit. Notice the stark contrast between the scaly leather jacket and the delicate flowery lace shirt of this fashion icon. He single-handedly created a nationally televised platform for African-American music and culture that featured the biggest names in soul, R&B, and hip hop. Everyone from James Brown and Aretha Franklin to LL Cool J and Mariah Carey. Cornelius believed in the Black is Beautiful movement of the 60s and said that he, quote, had a burning desire to see Black people presented on television in a positive light. The charismatic Don Cornelius did just that, and many Black audience members saw themselves represented on screen in a way that they never had before. With white America also tuning in, Soul Train became a force for exposure that led to greater understanding and empathy across race all through the power of music. Finally, we feature Missy Elliott, in-demand songwriter, path-breaking producer, label exec, and video trendsetter. Missy Miss Demeanor Elliott played a crucial part in crafting the Virginia Beach sound that would take over the airwaves around the turn of the 21st century. Elliott's debut album, Supa Dupa Fly, established her sound. Futuristic production rife with jarring distortions under her inimitable rap style. We have her headpiece and a recreation of the black inflatable jumpsuit she wore in her futuristic video for The Rain from that record. She said, To me, the outfit was a way to mask my shyness behind all the chaos of the look. Although I am shy, I was never afraid to be a provocative woman. The outfit was a symbol of power. I loved the idea of feeling like a hip hop Michelin woman. This artifact and quote serve as just one example of Elliot's work to promote body positivity in a male dominated music industry.